Good morning. I hope you are having a beautiful week and enjoying this gorgeous sunshine that we are being offered today. For those of you who don't know me, I am Teresa Eads, the Children and Youth Ministry Director at Kirksville First United Methodist, and I am so glad you were able to join me. So this week in um, Confirmation, I'm meeting with the Confirmands every Sunday, and our discussion this week was about community and the importance of your church community and your church family and how to play a part in that community and what different opportunities you would have to give. Um, we discussed how it's, it's not even so much, well, it's definitely not just financial giving. And you don't have to have all of these elaborate gifts. The people who sew our gorgeous banners are gifted, but you don't have to have that gift. The people who sing in our choir have an amazing talent, but you don't have to have that gift. You can give of your time volunteering. You can help at the clothing closet. You can um, come to organizations or, or group meetings that we have, whether it be a Bible study, whether it be youth group, whatever it might be, and participate. And there are so many ways to be a portion of that community. But I also discuss with our teenagers how important it is for them to have that community. And I take that portion of my job very seriously because that is very valuable to me to know that these young people have a community that is supporting them and that they know is there for them. Let me let me give you some examples. So the teenagers themselves, I always tell them, the person sitting next to you in youth group, the person sitting next to you in confirmation class may not be your best friend. And that's okay. But this is someone that you have grown up with, that you know has a value system similar to yours, that you know believe some of the same beliefs are important for a good life and that you can trust. And so whether you are on a sport, on a band, choir trip, drama trip, whether you are at a ball game, on a Friday night, out somewhere, when you find yourself in an uncomfortable situation, I want you to know you can look across the room and find someone that you can trust. That friendship, that relationship, that community. I also let them know the value of all of our church family because whether they know it or not, you know, there's this interesting separation between teens and adults and they both love each other desperately, but there's that awkward conversation portion. How do I talk to them? What do I say to them? I don't even know. Everyone seems to have that issue. I remind them that the adults in our church are always asking me, do you need something for the children? Do you need something for the youth? Is there anything that I can help buy for you? These children and youth are so loved and so supported the people in our church are worried on if they have snacks, if they have the things they need for their activities. And so I let them know how very loved they are and how much the people of our church want to know about what they are doing. That community is so valuable. And the reason that I'm, I'm sharing this with you is I read our devotion, one of our devotions in our Linton um information that we are utilizing through Lent here at church, one of them is seeking. What can you offer the world? And are you offering it? So after teaching the youth in confirmation about community and church, and then I read this and I thought, hmm, sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the world and we get so busy and we think we are doing what we're supposed to be doing, but we forget to maybe take time for us or take time for God. Or we get into the same mundane routine and we forget that sometimes there's a way to do something new and different that might be 
bring more joy into your heart and into your life. So I will read you the prayer. I will share with you the prayer that this offers. God of our stories. The Samaritan woman offered her bucket. She offered her truth. She offered her testimony. Am I offering all that I have to give? Are there ways I could give differently? Am I offering to care for my neighbors as well as myself? The world can ask so much of us. Help me find the pathway to give what I can and give with joy. Amen. I think that is such a beautiful prayer because not only does it remind us that we need to give from our heart to others, but are we also caring for ourselves? We have to remember that is so valuable. And I'm speaking to myself as much as anyone else when I say that. I struggle to remember in order to do what I want to be able to do for others, I have to also remember to care for myself. But are there ways that we can give, that we can give to others, that we can give to our church family, that we can give to God that would bring us joy, that would bring us peace, and that would be our opportunity to offer what is best from us? I hope you have a beautiful week. I hope as you are walking this Lenten journey that you know that you have a church community who loves you dearly and wants to be there for you. And I hope that if you have had a situation where you have needed that family, that you have felt the love of our church family. Have a beautiful week and I will see you next Tuesday.